I'm, I'm Thomas Salfeld, and I'm speaking to you as a member of the ECPR's Executive Committee. I am privileged and absolutely delighted to announce the inaugural winner of the ECPR Political Theory Prize, which was first awarded in 2021. It is always awarded to the best first book an author has written in the field of political theory. Let me start by saying, on behalf of the ECPR Executive Committee, how grateful we are to a number of standing groups in the area of political theory in ECPR um, to have joined forces and to establish and fund an annual ECPR prize in this important field. The ECPR Executive Committee was therefore also delighted to match the funds provided. I believe the prize is an important signal to the entire discipline where fundamental conceptual and normative questions, which are so important to political theorists, are sometimes on the sidelines despite the importance of theory uh, across the entire breadth of the subdiscipline. I had the privilege of being a member of the jury uh, that awarded this year's prize to Chiara Cordelli of the University of Chicago. Um, and the prize was awarded for her book, The Privatized State. So congratulations, Chiara. In her book, she applies methods developed in philosophy and political theory to describe and analyze fundamental transformations of key characteristics of the state in the 20th and 21st centuries. In particular, she discusses the normative implications of the growing role of private organizations, that is, for-profit organizations and non-profit organizations in the process of governing. So there's um, this, this sort of um, book deals with very, very fundamental transformations and changes to governing and statehood uh, across the entire globe. And therefore we thought, and I thought at least, it's uh, uh, a tremendously important uh, and inspiring and creative book. And again, I would like to congratulate Chiara for this uh, wonderful contribution to political theory. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Terrell Carver, uh, editor of Contemporary Political Theory, uh, the journal well known in the political field and also bright yellow, uh, if you identified on websites and library shelves. Uh, I co-edited it with uh, Samuel Chambers at Johns Hopkins University. We've uh, endeavoured to make it a global journal, and this uh, connection with the ECPR is particularly important for us because there's an enormous potential there for community building and for enriching what, our, what goes on in our journal already with uh, the further contributions um, and participation from the ECPR community. So we hope this further raises the profile of political theory uh, within the ECPR. Uh, I'd just like to say it's quite important to me personally, and I'm really, really delighted for this. I went to the um, joint sessions of workshops for the first time in 1978, and I've been a workshop director twice and have kept up with the organization. So uh, I was really quite uh, overwhelmed when the approach uh, came, and so many thanks here to Peter Neeson uh, at Hamburg and um, the uh, workers in the um, ECPR administration and to the other academics involved to get this prize off the ground and it was um, quite wonderful to be in on the uh, committee. Uh, so I can attest that um, this was um, a wonderful uh, decision for us uh, to come to and uh, thanks everybody for the, um, the smooth running. And so uh, we look forward to co-sponsoring in future. And as I say, this, this will be a wonderful connection for the journal. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity to say something on behalf of those who nominated Chiara Cordelli's book for this uh, prize. My name is Tim Myers, and I'm Assistant Professor of Moral and Political Philosophy at Leiden University in the Netherlands. What comes next is on personal title, but I do speak uh, on behalf of all three of us, Axel Gosseriz of the Université Catholique de Louvain, Dario Castellone from the University of Exeter and myself. When I say that we're very pleased that the jury decided to award the ECPR Prize in Political Theory to Chiara Cordelli. 
This award confirms something that we already knew, namely that Chiara is establishing herself as one of the leading voices in contemporary political philosophy. And of course, uh, heartfelt congratulations to you, Chiara, from all three of us. It really is a remarkable book in the first place because it offers an original and important perspective on a pressing issue, namely that states increasingly farm out their activities to private entities. Many of us feel some discomfort with this, but as Chiara shows, many of the reasons we would give for this discomfort miss the point. We need, and Chiara provides, a better understanding of what exactly is worrisome here. There is something else I particularly like about this book, and it is a virtue that Chiara's work as a whole shares. It sometimes feels as if political theorists are increasingly wary of theory, at least with a big T. And what Chiara shows is that political theorists can tackle pressing issues, engage with non-ideal circumstances, be relevant and on topping, and make policy recommendations without losing the bigger theoretical picture. Her work, be it on civil society, NGOs or philanthropists, are clearly about our predicament, about our predicament as individuals when it comes to friendship, love, commitment, but also about the institutions and social settings in which these things inevitably develop and flourish or not. And these settings, as Chiara emphasizes in her work, are something we control. Her work is more than a set of papers and books on a related topic, but if one squints one's eyes a little bit, one sees a clear theoretical arch. And I think this book is an important step in the articulation of the view that I take her to be developing and no doubt more excellent work is yet to come and uh, I look forward to it. I am Chiara Cordelli and I'm an associate professor of political theory at the University of Chicago in the Department of Political Science and the author of uh, The Privatized State. Um, I should start by saying that I was, uh, you know, absolutely thrilled and honored to learn that the privatized state won the ECPR prize and I'm now also humbled by these uh, uh, you know exceedingly kind uh, um, remarks uh, remarks that I think captures precisely what I had in mind when uh, I approached the writing of this book I wanted the book in some respect to be a movement from the concrete and the particular to the general so one ambition of the book was to provide a normative assessment and a critique of uh, um, a contemporary institutional transformation privatization that has changed the, the way government and governance works and in this way also an attempt to bring to the the attention of political theorists government which is often neglected compared to right other questions such as constitutional structures or electoral politics to to mention two examples but it was also in some extent this analysis an excuse to return to very old questions, questions concerning, for example, whether there is anything normatively special about the state that explains why certain values can only be realized through state action or whether there is a, a fundamental connection between legitimacy and agency such that uh, certain decisions can only be legitimate if made by certain agents, not only if they are appropriately authorized or if they serve certain interests. Not so question of representation, right? what does it mean to speak or act in the name of another? And I hoped that arriving at this question through the, ana the critical analysis of a contemporary phenomenon could shed some new lights on this question. Um, just let me, of course, uh, thank um, sincerely both the, all the members of the jury prize and the three nominators that um, T. Mayers uh, mentioned, and also, of course, the organization as a, as a whole. Uh, I also hope that the prize itself, uh, regardless of, of the winner, will contribute to the growth of political theory um, within the organization. So thank you very much. At this point, I would like to highlight that the jury was also very impressed with uh, Alassia Nuti's excellent book, The Injustice and the Reproduction of History, Structural Inequalities, Gender and Redress. This book also touches on very, very important current issues, problems uh, that concern political theorists, but also empirical uh, political scientists and political sociologists, econo economists. So it's an, uh, another very, very important theoretical contribution to very current and very 
pressing debates in political science and beyond. At the end of this virtual ceremony, sadly, we have to perform virtual ceremonies in, the, in this current context. I would like to thank everyone who attended the ceremony. I would like to thank Daryl Carver, the editor of Contemporary Political Theory, Tim Myers, uh, one of the scholars who proposed um, the book, Chiara, of course, who gave us a very good, lively impression of some of the key thoughts she associates with the book, and of course, everybody who was helping to organize this event in the background. <laughs>